Here is a fairly short discussion that I had with some Jehovah's Witnesses recently uh, regarding Martin Luther. And I had an opportunity, amazingly, to actually share a little bit about uh, his history and his testimony. Um, it was very off the cuff, so may not be 100% accurate, but I think I did all right. But um, if you notice anything that isn't quite right, please feel free to comment below. Um, from there, they naturally, this tends to happen, they diverted the conversation over to Charles Taze Russell as they like to compare Martin Luther to Russell, which is interesting because Russell was not trying to bring a reformation to the church. He was trying to bring uh, Miller's end times prophecies to the churches, and he was going around to the individual churches trying to get them on board with his crazy teachings, which, by the way, Jehovah's Witnesses also reject today. So if he were to show up at their kingdom hall today and say the things he was saying, they would have kicked him out as well. So it's kind of an interesting comparison as opposed to Martin Luther actually reforming back to what scripture actually says. But uh, Charles Taze Russell was more interested in, in all of the end times prophecies that he was obsessed with, which he learned from Will William Miller, who was somebody that he followed. Luther, he exposed the Catholic Church. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, because he recognized that, he that faith, but salvation was through faith and, uh, in Christ, not through works. His life, yeah. He made his life at the time. He had to flee from... Uh, oh, eventually he did, yeah, yeah. yeah. And he was hanging on the wings of the king of uh, Austria or whatever, uh, some, somewhere around, no? in Europe. Uh, oh, there was a... Um, a nobility who took him in and actually whisked him away from... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, he was teaching uh, over there, wasn't he? Well, he he was brought before council because of um, he was condemning the um, um, oh, what do you call it? indulgences. And he yeah. saw that, which was you know trying to earn your way out of purgatory by paying lots of money to the church and all that. And he saw that he was, he was just disgusted with it. So he started writing about that, and also um, he was like the most you know committed monk. Like he was so good you know and he did everything right and he was very cautious and careful yeah. and he always confessed his sins and and then he was and he also was teaching the bible he was studying the bible and when he came across um i can't remember which scripture if it was maybe in ephesians or in galatians um or even in romans um that the difference between penance and repentance for one thing because they were saying penance but that's not repentance that's doing works in order to get your sins forgiven repentance is turning away from your sins to Christ and then also seeing that you're saved by by faith grace alone faith alone Christ alone and not by all of the works that you do to get yourself there so um, when he started speaking that way of course the church was very unhappy yeah, with that because they were getting a lot of money and they were, had power and control and, and they didn't really want the Bible in the hands of too many people I mean it was around people had it but it wasn't something that they really supported so Luther went you know translated into German so that people yep. could read the Bible and uh, yeah and, and the more he did that the more that the Catholic Church and he didn't want to leave the Catholic Church he just wanted them to reform yeah that's, a, wanted, that's, you know, that's yep. the impression I get with uh, Russell as well at first he he went to the churches and tried to talk to them yeah but, you know he wasn't uh, he wasn't one of them he no like he wasn't no. a monk or whatever he was a clothing clothing year. yeah Men, well, men's clothing <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, you know, he was, like he was quite well off in the beginning, wasn't well, he? Well, he was yeah. just, you know, he was a businessman. Yeah. He wasn't, he wasn't a yeah. theologian. At, at, at the yeah. beginning, Russell approached uh, yeah. the Christian churches enough yeah. Yeah. to see he if they to wanted, yeah. wanted to reform. Yeah. They yeah. Wanted to, uh, Along with Miller, Because it, it must just, just be an yeah. oversight here. You guys don't, you, you haven't seen this. Look at this in the scriptures. It's like... Yeah, but you know, I think you have to be careful to say that you know, was all were all people stupid before Russell came along? You know, like yeah, I, I think no. there were you know, people knew. No, but a it lot sounds more like that was his intention is simply to say, oh, you know, hey, yeah, he the, the Bible says believe. this, and we get that all the time. I don't have a hard time believing that because yeah. I talk to people about the Bible and so, well, sure. it says this, and it's yeah. like, well, you well, know, don't yeah. want to hear about. It. Yeah, and there's a lot of people who claim to be Christian who just don't have any idea about the Bible. They don't yeah, care about it. Yeah, get a whole lot. Yeah, a lot of a lot of just. And he, he, he acknowledged he got a lot of his information from the stores and um, there's the other guys <coughs> okay. yeah, yeah, so like there's there's a lot of people that have researched and they published it and he got it. Yeah, yeah. You know, he's able to go back on that. 